in the first stage of disease, they might be very tired, very nauseous, vomiting, have severe muscle aches, joint pains, feel like their bones are breaking. Their eyes might be bloodshot, and they might be suffering from a very severe headache, which is made worse by the light and noise. For most of these people, they will enter a period of remission. They'll get better. Most of their symptoms will go away. For about 15% of these people, though, once they're starting to feel better, they will suddenly take a turn for the worse. During this point, fevers rise again, often to 105, 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Patients are often writhing in pain on a bed, vomiting uh, what's known as black vomit, and that's because of bleeding that occurs inside the stomach due to the liver failure. You can bleed from pretty much any orifice. You can bleed from your mouth. You can bleed from any abrasions or holes that have been poked in your body from bloodletting can also start to bleed profusely as well. At this point also, the kidneys can shut down. The patient can stop making any urine at all. Because of this, the toxins build up in the body and can affect the way the brain works. This is one of the most horrific parts of the disease. So you'll see people who are anywhere from just a little bit irritable or having some problems with their memory to folks on the other end of the spectrum who are delirious, screaming, pulling their clothes off, running out into the streets. Yellow fever is one of the most terrifying diseases we've seen in our history.